welcome back to Let's Play Spyro Year of the Dragon. I am Matt Stone 15 and alright, as I said I would be doing Molten Crater and then um I said I see people we're actually gonna be doing um we're actually going to be doing the Sparks training and part of the world. I don't think I'll I do if I die in the world once I'll actually then call it that. But you know, I'm just gonna I'll do that for all the stuff I'll show you. It's but I may not finish it, you know, stuff like that. So the first thing is molten crater and doing. Now I looked up. There is a skill point for starting burn, and the skill point is kind of interesting. You have to get all the idol heads and assemble them in a circle where you find the first one. And you, it's pretty cool where the first one is actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I believe, and certain person says he's gonna go for a little R and R. I think it's rest and. Regulation or whatever, but I, but I, there is, some people say it's rock and roll and some people say it's um, rest of some sort. I really don't know, I have to look that up, but you know. All I do know is that he says that in Hero or Enchanted Towers. So let's do his level. Hello Spyro, I'm just off to the Tiki Lodge for some R and R. Yeah, it is here. Hi. I'm playing a game of hide and seek with my friends. If I can't find where they've hidden their heads, they won't let me join the Tiki Lodge. Help me put them back together, and I'll make you an honorary member. Yeah, here's what I don't get is, like, no, here's what I hate about this. One, all the birds that you see, they hurt you a lot. And they also are um, respawn. Like they don't give you gems for they respawn. And there's planters above all the heads. You have to pick them up. That and I hate all the picking up levels. And if you drop it in the lava, you have to wait until it comes back. All right, that's one head. Alright, now, I, as I said, there was a cracked wall in here that you could open, and there. there it is. They're pretty clear. And here's the extra A in this level. Luna. This place up there. Yeah, I have jobs in the back of the way down to the area. Uh, I way down to it. This is the way down to another head. I don't got, alright, got it, good. I don't have to come back. I hate if you drop the head because you usually get hit by the birds when you're doing it. Then you have to come back for it. And you, and the game, I don't know how to pick which a, which head you dropped. So it just says, like, randomly to pick, um, what, see, that's the birds responding. You'll actually see them, and you'll hear that, that sound. Just like the old piece in Croc. Yeah, you are, they're actually, in Croc is actually an older, is actually a video game that was produced about the same time as this, and all the enemies in that one were spawn. All of the enemies. Like, all, like in Minecraft, all the enemies in that one respawn as well, but it's not in direct. Like, you never actually see them. You see them come back, of course, but you have to find a spawner. You need to come back as fast as they care. That's, that's what makes it annoying because they can come back really fast. Alright, I think really after this is one more head. Because all the heads have been pretty easy up to this point. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> See? If you, if you get hit by the flamethrower, you actually drop it, and if it drops in the lava, you are screwed. Because you have to wait for it to come back, and that doesn't happen very often. In fact, my friend actually, I think he lost it completely. Wait, awesome. Now, where is that? I think it's this way. Yeah, it's this way. Darn it. No points there. Okay. Good. But the fur, they always need to drop it in the lava, no matter what. I think there's a clear passage the other way, but I'm going to test my luck. 
Yeah. But there is a flame stone. Which isn't too bad, because you should... Alright, this is the last head. It has to be the last head. Yep. See, they all dance and you get... And it's a skill point. Hey, this guy. Alright, then the head stops and you have to still replace them all. These are just to go right up to the... Right up to the body. And land. They shouldn't... Shouldn't... Oh yeah, and once you are able to replace them, you can hit them to the, the whole face thing. All hey. the all the normal ones do that as well. Hey. Hey. I think this is kind of uh, that's that's frostbite. So no, it's toll free. Yeah. Or. Your honorary membership in the lodge. Yeah, when they send me to this, this is the part when um you said take this, you popsicle. Then yeah. That was the only um miss um Well that never miss um coloring. I was miss um talking to you So yeah. I've never had it before. I hope it's not a bad omen. Now there's so that's um all the that's all the um Eggs, uh, and this should be the last one. Yep. All right, that's all the money. Now back to the home world and to do Sparks training and his level and you know all that good stuff. Crawdad farm bonus for all. Bonus, but you actually need anything there. But you know, you can totally ignore the sparks roll, and nothing, you have, and you can still fight the final boss. But you need all these. But you have to do all of them to get the extra boss, which I won't be doing. Hello, Sparks. Maybe before you take on the nasty Crawdads, I should give you some help. To start, let's practice shooting. Press the circle button to shoot these targets. Yeah, the same as you control Spyro, and then these are actually crawdads. Then I think they're like really small. And you can strive, I forget what button they're for. But you can look. Strive and move back and forth without actually changing your position. You can also move quickly by charging, like Spyro. To charge, hold down the square button. Use your charge. Yeah, try to extend the enemy. There is, um, the only time you see enemies like this again, is when they're metal plate and it's the last one. The sorcerers actually made bugs for sparks to have to defeat. And um, they use the cold, cold keys usually. Like egg keys. This usually takes a while. They look like they need to go There you go. for the hard part. Being a maneuverable dragonfly, you can also slide in any direction. To slide, hold down the L1 or R1 button. Then move with the analog stick or directional button. Try yeah. sliding up and down to hit the targets in this room. Yeah, this is what I was talking about. This is what this is really useful, but you have to get it directly. It becomes really useful at the level. Yeah. It becomes useful. 
On your travels, you'll notice butterflies to give you health, just like in the dragon world. Not only that, but some butterflies will give you special powers, though only for a short time. Just eat any power-up butterfly, and then press the X button to use that power-up. Your power-up is shown in the top right of the screen. Yeah, then these all come after and do that and wipe them out. Then these rooms just teach you how to use them. I thought one person could do it without using the powers. You'll be able to deal with these guys much faster. Yeah, if you get hit by one, you um, end up losing. See? You'll be able to deal with these guys. The, you can get hit a couple times with, and, um, when you do it later. Gee. You'll be able to deal with You actually have to touch the, um, the, you actually have to touch the gem. That's why I call, that's why I said this is so helpful. You don't have to go very far to do it. Yeah, I'm doing some of it. I said I didn't say I was going to do some of it. I didn't say I was going to shut down. Wait a second. It's actually going to be a practice. In the old Spyro game, like the ones on the most on the game boy I was in, those, um, you could, um, use those and they would get, if the purple ones would give you a blast or a new stone. I don't remember I should have paid them. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. There's one that has a cloak and shit like that, and I don't remember for sure. I think the button is in blue, if I'm not mistaken. As I said, I'm not very good at this, so... I wasn't able to complete it once, but that took a lot, a lot of tries. On the Game Boy, I remember that, um, they would have... Sparks little thing. Yep. That was a thing. Okay. you can charge and you can fire on. And Sparks, not too much. And you don't get, it's not like you get hit right away, it's a big deal, but grab, those take up more power. But they also, I think, I'm pretty sure all the grabs give you a special butterfly. In this case, you have visibility, and then only the yellow door. It's purple, yellow. This is where the button is. turns off all the power from most of the um, things that are over. You can actually press the button again and the shield will turn back on. That's one of the disadvantages, I guess. So I put seven, that was from the 
crab, I remember. These are really useful against the boss. I hate that if you get one power up, it destroys the other power. Like, you don't get to use the other power. So you can't, like, stockpile power. See? And I always miss using power. Really, on accident, of course. I never, like, purposely give up power. I used to do it on a game board. Because I knew how to do it. I was only able to put the first one on the Game Boy. Not that much of a joke to Game Boy and do the levels for me. Yeah. Yes, they look, they look, they look more like crayfish. Yeah, crawdads. They don't look like little crayfish or little lobsters, you know. That's common. Most people do. In fact, everyone I know that would agree with me. Because almost everyone I know always agrees with me. But still. Most common, did you know what car that might be off? Or if they even a bit exist? Like, maybe I actually know what they are, so I don't get to do it. I've always wanted them to a different name or something, but a lot of crabs. Crabs usually take a power, but usually if you get a power, I don't know if crabs on it. You actually fight crabs quite commonly in the power in the first level, which I don't get. So I'm guessing they're like a like, I'm guessing crawdads are like a crab, but it's like a lobster variety, that's why I think they're a crab in this level. And then this is the boss, which we need um, the powers for. Then he starts shooting rockets, then he loses those. Then he, um, once he loses that, then he just has his head and he starts shooting a wave of fire, which gets really dangerous. But you can say a good distance back in a hole. There. I strike and beat it. And I get Nora. Which is actually, uh, which is actually a, one of the special things. So remember that. Well, oh. And I think this is the last treasure. This is the only spark hole I will actually attempt. Sorry, guys. Sorry if you wanted to be on the spark level. Um, you can... There's like a Hey Ryan guy, or... Yeah, I think it was Hey Ryan with LP. He um, does... He does a spiral game, and he did really well on the spark level. Okay, there's Yeah, but all the enemies are gone, so I can just look for treasure. I have, the, I have the extra powers, I didn't actually use all the powers on the boss, which was probably a bad idea. I was kind of rushing to not die, so that's why I didn't really focus on gems, plus I thought, it sent, and plus when I'm going to die, I don't focus on gems because I think I'm going to not finish it anyway. I have about, looks like six and a half minutes left in this recording to actual find them. I'll cut it out if it's actually like at the beginning of it. But, you know. Who knows? It could be anywhere. It could be actually at the end. Oh, there we are. There we are, 200. The Sparks levels usually only have like 200 of them. Mm -hmm. Sparks levels usually don't have that much. That's the only Sparks level I'm doing, so don't bother. Um, Asking me to do the other one, but there are other left players. I will, there are other left players. I will suggest to you to watch them because I know they do that. Well, now you need uh, first to get gold. You get gold. Yeah, he actually comes back and then, and this is an awesome ability he gets for being this one. Actually, the second one is better, but this is a ability he gets. Nice work, Spark. You beat in the crowded king and found the lost egg. Not only that, but some of the dragon magic seems to have rubbed off on you. Now you can pick up gems when they're even further away from Spyro. Um, so, what happens is that with beating each of them, Sparks gets an extra ability once you um, beat each level. Um, I can tell you what they are, but I won't be getting them, because I don't want to beat them. Um, the second one I would actually really like, 100%. Um, the second one, like, in this one, he's able to pick up gems that are further away. They're really not all that far, but either way. 
Um, the second one, you press the L1 and R1 and it will point to gems. The third one, you get an extra hit point. And the fourth one, you can open up chests and stuff, like those wind baskets and, and um, chests that need a key. He will actually open them himself. Yeah. Hmm. But I think you still need to find the key, but Sparks will do it for you. You don't have to bring the key to it. Sparks will just open it. I think it's pretty much just the one basket, so you should try to do the last one before. Yeah, there's something about like, what? So we should do these are, we start in water and end in water. Yeah, well, yeah I already said that. Alright, so, um, I think that's it for now. Um, join us next time on Let's Play Spyro. We will be going to Icy Peak, which is another fan. Well, I'm sort of a fan of Park to that level. So long.